Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time in this channel, run over there and subscribe for us. And then after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lips family. Now that you're part of the Lips family, you done been here before because you've been peeking and not speaking. But now that you're speaking and you done hit that bell and you done hit that button, I need you to comment, comment, Comment like a share and gunk for the team. Comment like a share and gunk for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment like a share. Okay, you guys, we're going to pray and we're going to get into the food. Here we go. Amen. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help me out because this food is hot. I just took it out of the oven. Let's see if he's nice and refreshing. Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, today for the food, you guys, we have stuffed bell pepper. We've got a red one, we've got an orange one, and we've got a yellow one. We've got cucumbers, we've got the jalapenos, and we've been to get to eating. They're seasoned with a cauliflower, ground beef, a lot of cheese, a lot of cheese, some jalapenos, and they're topped with bacon and cheese as well. Y'all, over here to the side, I've got my Parmesan cheese, I've got my salt and vinegar for my cucumbers, I've got Tabasco, the lips hot sauce, and I've got some salsa verde. Okay, now, y'all, let me show y'all. Let me show it to you. We're going to start with the red one. First bite. Let me let you, uh-oh, hold on, y'all. I got a tray down there. Y'all see how juicy it is? Can y'all see that? Baby, can you see that? Baby. It's juicy, too, y'all. It's juicy in the inside. Let's see what it's working with. Mmm. 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 Y'all, this is so good. For real, for real. This is so good. And inside of it, it's got ground beef cheese, a piece of cauliflower, topped with some more cheese and bacon on top. Baby! Baby, that's good. And as you say, let me show you again. Let me see if you can see the inside of it. Can you see it? Can you see it? Let me say. It's hot, y'all. Baby. Baby, this is good. Mmm. So how y'all doing today? You all doing all right? Happy Saturday, happy Saturday, happy Saturday. Y'all seen that stuff come out of my mouth, but I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. Mmm. Put some little vinegar inside of our cucumbers. Y'all see, I've been having these cucumbers just about every day. I'm addicted to them. They're so good. With the salt and vinegar on it. Baby. You cannot miss. They're good. Mmm. 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 Mm. Y'all, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. It's juicy too. It's like real juicy. Mm. If you like vegetables, and y'all, the green peppers on the outside, of course, it's the boat for it. But when you get to eating it, you don't really taste that green pepper. There's so much ground beef and cheese in there. Mm. But it is juicy. 
They're real juicy. They're real juicy. Mmm. Mmm. You know, when you, you know, when you cook the green pepper, mmm. Mmm. It creates juice. You know, when you, when you bake it, it creates juice. And because it's in the boat, all of it stay in there. Mmm. Mm. Y'all, this is good. It's just good. It really is. Y'all, it's good. Brown you up some ground beef. Shred you some cheese. You know I like to shred my cheese. Or just, you can get that. Sometimes I use that Mexican style cheese. Mmm. 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 Y'all, that's good. It's real good. Mmm. Y'all, let me tell you this. I'm going to tell y'all again. I know some of you at work. Some of you are doing a lot of other different things. But baby, the Friday Night Live on the Little Channel, baby, baby, that live be so strong. Baby, you need to try to get to that Friday Night Live if you ain't never been there. Or if you just missing it, baby, you need to get to that live. Y'all done wasted cheese all over the thing, didn't it? If you ain't in that Friday Night Live, baby, I don't know what you waiting on. Mmm. Mmm. Bye, Friday Night Live on the Lips Channel at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, that's good. Y'all, I forgot. Y'all got us some, some new napkins, honey. Some new cloth napkins, baby. For our good face, honey. Keep us all wiped up. Yeah. Keep your boy all dapper and everything. Keep him all dapper. You know you're on the right channel, baby. You know you're on the right channel. <laughs> y'all, I'm always wasting stuff. I don't know why. I'm telling y'all, I'm always wasting stuff. I don't know why. It just seemed to happen like that. But once again, I'm going to say this again, baby, y'all. The Friday Night Live on the Little Channel. It's so crunk. Yes, it is. Y'all y'all know I be trying to keep my decoration together. You know I be trying to keep my decoration together now, honey. Y'all already know. Mmm, mmm. Y'all just good. They just simply good. Ah. Mmm. Mmm. And y'all think I'm playing. I'm really addicted to the salt and vinegar. Even when I'm not on the camera, I'm just always eating it. I love it on sour pickles. Obviously cucumbers. I ain't had none yet that wasn't good on. Mmm. 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 I hope these good recipes that I'm giving y'all lately, I hope y'all using them. Mm. I'm going to put some down here on the tray, honey. That's what I'm going to do. 
so I can just sop it up. It's good. Mmm. You guys, there are some exciting things going on on the Lips channel right now. Y'all, I'm so excited. I really, really am, y'all. We've been hit 10K. We so close. We so close. Y'all, look at that. That cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Get all my bacon up. There's no bacon left behind. Mm-mm. Y'all, we about to hit 10K. 10K, baby. We about to hit it. We so close. That's why I make sure that I tell the new Legion, which I'm so happy to see you. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for joining us. I love you all. We love you all. I love me. I love you. I particularly love us. Legion. We love you over here in this camp. The Legion. We love you over here. And we are so thankful that you came to join us. Mm. Well, I knew napkin it, y'all. Here you go. Is that camera hating? Camera don't be hating. Don't be hating. Mm. Put a little more Parmesan cheese on here, honey. It's already real cheesy. But cheese on top of cheese on top of cheese on top of cheese. You can't beat it. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is good. Mm. It's so fresh. Like real fresh. It is. Mm. So what y'all doing this good Saturday? What are y'all doing, honey? Mmm. Mm. Y'all still ain't trying to leave nothing down here. My bacon and my cheese, baby. I'm trying to get it up. Because I want to eat it. I really do. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. I done got me something to eat now. So y'all know this week, twice this week, we've been talking about you minding your own business. You know that's what we've been talking about. Now, we talked about minding your own business. We talked about getting you some business, right? So, y'all, now, what I'm going to tell y'all, because, like, 93% of my subscribers are women. So, as I'm talking, I'm talking to the men as well, but I'm going to be speaking in the form of I'm talking to the ladies, because there's so many of them. I'm not leaving you out, though, men. Just know mm, that whatever your preference is, let me let y'all see this one. Baby, look at that juice. Baby, did y'all see that? Baby, they so juicy. They are. But, so now this is what we've been talking about today, okay? We're going to talk about now, once you stay out of other folks' business and you find the lips ain't telling you no lie, because I cannot tell you a lie. I cannot. Once you find out and you see that staying out of other folks' business and tending to your own business, that you can get you some business, now I'm going to talk to you about once you get you some business. <laughs> hey! Now look. I know you used to be on the phone all day. I'm just going to say this. Or whatever you do. On social media, wherever you live. That you're doing all this gossiping from. That you're in down from. Because you got you some business now, right? 
Okay. When you get your own business, right? Mm -hmm. If you've been paying attention to other folk business all this time, and now you got your own business, you got to take care of it now. You got to take care of your business. You do. And if that entails cooking, cleaning, even if you do work, take care of your business. You've got to take care of your mate. You got to. You know, I think it's the saddest thing for people to get in relationship. And then when they get in a relationship, they can't be themselves. You know, like how to get in a relationship and if you're used to going to the club, you can't go to the club. Or, you know, stuff like that. But now remember now, you out of touch. You out of tune because you've been in other folk business. But now you got your own business. Take care of your business. Don't be laid up on the phone. Not doing your chores. If you don't work. If you're fortunate enough to not work. And have someone to take care of you. Because they love you. Because they love you. You got to take care of your business. That means. Take care of the house. If that's your structure. Get the groceries. You got to cook. Trust and believe. Mm. A person is out going to work every day. Y'all let them juices running everywhere. Hold on a minute. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm back. I had to get some of them juices up, y'all. From all three of them that were running around, them juices was flowing around everywhere. Speaking of juices, like I said, you got to take care of your man, now. Nah. You got to take care of him. You done worked all this time. And you finally got you a good one. Now, remember, now you got to take care of your business. I, like I said, I know that you out of tune because you've been in other folk business. But you got to take care of your business. Yes, you do. You got to take care of your business. That means if you work or whatever, do that. But you got to be proactive. You know what I mean? You got to clean your bathroom at night before you go to bed. Make sure you don't never go to bed with dishes in your kitchen. Believe it or not, men judge you by the way you keep house. They really do. If you think a man won't decide that you're not wiping material because you don't keep house good, baby, you done fooled yourself. You done fooled yourself. You have. A man will judge you by the way you keep house, honey. And I know some of you going to say, oh, I go to work. I make my own money. I'm not doing, I'm not doing that. I'm going to see you when you're 50 and you still saying the same thing, still making your own money because you ain't taking care of your business. You guys, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. It is. Most men don't like to do housework. They don't like to wash no clothes. They don't want to go to no grocery store. They don't even want to go to the grocery store with you. I mean, that just comes with the territory. A man want to go to work. Because first and foremost, when you get you one, let me tell you something. Come here. This is a big secret. Come here. Come here. Come hither. Come here. A little bit closer. I want to make sure you hear this. I want to make sure you get this, okay? What was I talking about? I forgot. <laughs> Y'all, I lost my whole train of thought. I lost it. I did. I lost it. I don't know. I guess I remember. If I don't, I'll tell you another video. I will. But I do know this. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. Now, come here. Come on. I know I messed it up last time. 
Let me make sure I ain't gonna mess it up this time. I think I just lost it again, y'all. Y'all, that's sad. That's sad. Because I just had it again. I did. I really did. Okay, I got it. Let me tell y'all a secret. You can choose your man or your significant other. Let me stop saying your man. You can choose your significant other because they look good. You look, yeah, y'all know I'm always trying to make sure my decoration is right, and I can't get it right. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it out. You can choose your significant other because you just so attracted to them. They're so cute. That's good. You can choose your significant other because they can lay it down. That's good too. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something you might not know. Now come here. Come here. I'm for real. I got it this time. I got it. Come here. When you're choosing your mate, let me tell you something. The best part of any man, any man, I don't care where they from and what they doing. The best part of any man is to be a provider. <laughs> hey, baby, if you got you a man laid up on you, if he laid up on you, and ain't nothing wrong with him, baby, it's obviously, obviously something wrong with you. Baby, it ain't that much love. Baby, it ain't that much love in the world. It ain't. Not no grown man. And I know some of you are in this situation. And you just may get mad. But I still got to tell you the truth. A man is supposed to be a provider. That's what he's supposed to do. So, he may be ugly. You may have to deal with some stinking feet. But guess what? It's better to live out your life with a man that will provide for you and smell stinking feet than to have no feet to smell at all. Baby, that was a word. That was a word. Don't no man want no lazy woman. If you don't know how to cook, you better be writing down these recipe lips giving you. <laughs> Get you a cookbook, honey. Because the thing of it is, what most people don't realize is that you have to be ready. You yourself, you have got to be worthy. You know what I'm saying? When you find that good one, that one that can go to work, provide for you, do all them nice things, come home, lay you down and swerve at night. You know that good one, that one that fits all them boxes. He's a provider. You know all them good things. He may even talk to you every now and again. That's all good. As long as that provider thing is there now. You know what I mean? But when you find him, you got to be ready. That's the reason why I want you to get out of the folk business. And get you some your own business. That's why I want you to do that. Because sometimes your dream husband just may come back. And if you ain't ready in your life, baby, you will miss out. You're gonna miss out. You really will. That's the reason why I want you out of the forbidden. So you can get yourself prepared. For that forever person. Y'all I'm for. I want the inside out of this, though. Mm-hmm. The inside busting. It's all busting. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. -mm -mm. mm. Y'all are so cheesy. Hey, yeah. I'm full of that. I ate the inside out of that pepper. So... Y'all, I don't know where these conversations have been coming from lately. They've been kind of random. Just stuff just flowing out my head. But I do want you to know that if you got a man that will provide for you, baby, you got the best part of a man you can ever have. You got the best part you can ever have. You really do. And I know sometimes the roles are reversed because of whatever reason. You could just be built. Uh-oh. -uh. You could just be built for it tough yourself and have a great job or making good money, you know, and the roles are reversed. But now if they are, make sure that it's a perfect understanding about what's going on, that you're not going to have to go to work and be the provider and then come home, take care of house, 
see out the children, run them to the bus stop and all that. And some women have to do that. They do. But what I want to tell you is that, baby, mm. if he's sitting at the house and he ain't taking care of all that, baby, he need to have a 40-hour week on the internet or putting on his shirt and tie in the morning time going looking for a job. He or she. An able-bodied person, ain't nothing wrong with them. Y'all, don't let folks lay on you like that. An able-bodied person that can work, ain't nothing wrong with them at all. No, you ain't laying up in my house like that. No, you got to go. Now, if you had a job and something happened and you in between jobs, I can deal with that. As long as you, like I said, putting in that good 40 hours a week trying to find you a job. Because you're not laying on me. Nope. That's not going to happen. If, if ain't nothing wrong with you. Now, if something wrong with you, I got you. I got you. I really, really do. But if ain't nothing wrong with you, baby, you finna go to work. Or you not. Y'all ain't finna go. You got the message. As random as it was. Y'all, these stuffed peppers were delicious. I tell you how to make them. Enjoy i seen that. Anyway, once again, to all the new Legion, I appreciate you being here so, so, so much. You really fell in today. If today's your first day, you fell in on a three-day conversation, basically. You need to go back and watch the previous two videos so you know where we're at in this situation. Anyway, you guys, I got to tell you again, you guys go and check out the C-Circle. The C-Circle did an impersonation of me. I put it in the community post. Baby, it is so funny. It really, really is. Also, once again, if you want the hot sauce, the hot sauce link, not link, but the way for you to get the hot sauce is in the community post. I've been going back and making sure that I repost it so it'll be at the top all the time because when I post other things, it goes down. So I'm making sure that I keep it posted at the top so you won't have any problem finding it. Go to the community post. I'm sorry. Go to the community post and I'm going to try to make sure that I keep it up there at the top all the time. Okay. So with that being said, I think we just said, oh, all the links to the Mukbang Bulls are in the description box. Stay down now. Big Mac, you love Shunny. Obviously, you know the first L is lips. Look at more eats in Sam's World. By the way, I have a good report, you guys. Sam's World Mother is doing a little better. Thank you for your prayers. Continue to pray. We appreciate you all so, so, so much. I love you all so much, okay? But I'm going to get up out of here. Ain't going to be no loose lips today. Ain't going to be no lips left over today. Because it's late. We done done the live. I had to get out the live. Prepared for anyway, I'm finna go. Y'all, I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm going to see you guys next time. I'm going to see you guys next time. Tomorrow, baby. Tomorrow, we're probably in the get down shirt, baby. Because I got a meal I'm finna eat tomorrow. It's going to be good. Good old country meal. I love you guys so, so much. We're finna get out of here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you decide to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all, and I'm going to see you guys next time. If you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Bye-bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you did one thing, if you did push that notification button in that bell, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Here we are.